Hi Sagittarius, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel and Matis has just jumped on my lap or sitting next to me as I am starting Sagittarius. She she is the Sagittarius in the house as besides my daughter and I don't know why but I think she's got some some type of um uh, uh got clairvoyancy with Sagittarius telepathy with my daughter or with the reading Sagittarius so she's empowering the energy of Sagittarius she's the cat my Siamese cat and she's always comes and joins me when I do Sagi okay well big fat paw from her well, go and have a look show them that you're here there you go that's her she's standing on the cards and now she's going to sit on them. There you go. Well, we don't want that. You can't stand on the table or stay on the table. I have to do the reading, darling. Come on. Come on. There you go. I didn't put her on the table. She did that herself. And she's been coming here. I think she's been asking, do the reading, do the reading, Sagittarius. She doesn't understand there is a system from Capricorn to Sagittarius and she's giving heads to the tarot box of the pagan ways that's these cards okay so I uh, that is an extra I uh, you know you things happen whilst I'm doing my readings and this is just one of them okay I hope you're all well and uh, safe and enjoying life you did go off the chart with Sagittarius you liked the romance reading thank you very much for liking and sharing and I really hope it's going to come true the energy is a lot better and more positive as we are in Libra and Libra's energy uh, Libra wants harmony and peace and doesn't everybody um, peace that there is no more Covid or any restrictions right that's what I want and that's what everybody wants I hope it's going to happen because we are in Libra we are in the autumn the fall equinoxes just come in and Libra was on the 22nd 23rd of September and I'm taping this on the 24th in three months time it will be Christmas Eve and we also have two uh, two full moons in uh, October October the 1st of October and the 31st and we're going into Scorpio and I'll be doing a video on that as well my darlings uh, on the energy of Scorpio and the full moon on the 31st is Halloween or Samhain festival okay and we've also just gone into the autumn and that festival is called the harvest equinox or ma bain that's why you see the picture in the beginning of the video let's get started my darlings and I'm glad that you're back and for anybody new welcome to the channel please subscribe and hit the bell on all and set the settings in YouTube and in your mobile device device there is a video on how to do that so have a look in the playlists on the news and updates I believe the, we start off with the three of ones and it's the end of the day and it's getting dark here so that's why it's false light I'm sorry about that but I didn't want to leave you uh, to do you and Scorpio tomorrow I, I, I'm pushing it on so here you go plans are coming to fruition abundance is coming in definitely because you have been working hard you have the eight of pentacles so you have recognition your you've been recognized your um, uh, perseverance at heart getting doing your work and you're working hard you might even start a new study to specialize in your talents will and that will bring in abundance as well as you have the three of wands it could be love it could be money it could be all kinds of things but mainly abundance abundance is coming in perhaps a promotion 
unexpected changes on Wednesday as you have the tower. Take it as, don't be scared of it, take it as an adventure. This is a new adventure. When one door closes, uh, 20 will open. There you go. Like I said, you might get a promotion. So that door is opening. You didn't want to make a choice or you couldn't make a choice. So the Divine stepped in and gave you this change. A new beginning, actually. A beginning that you weren't planning. And you've got the Six of Swords. So you're moving away from difficult times or rough waters, going into smoother waters. You might be moving home. You might be um, going on holiday and crossing water. In this case you might be crossing air. Because look at the airflow. So go with the flow my darling. Don't be scared. You've got a beautiful adventure waiting on you. There will be celebrations as you've got the Three of Cups. You will be celebrating Celebrating with family and friends. Then you have the Page of Cups. This is news. This could be news of a job or something that you're passionate about. This could be about a new hobby, a new love, but definitely uh, news coming to you. This could come from Cancer or Scorpio or Pisces. And remember, uh, we have two full moons, and at the time of these full moons, you could be extra sensitive and highly pre perceptive. So listen to your higher self and listen to your intuition. You have on the weekend the Eight of Cups. Yes. You want new beginnings, you want excitement, you want adventure. Well, you are getting it, so don't worry about it. And if you did not have the tower, or if the, or if the tower doesn't resonate with you, then um, don't throw an old pair of shoes away before you get a new pair. Okay? Because life goes on. Stick with where you are at the moment, because the change is coming. Most probably unexpected. You have got two eights. So have a look in on Google or in Google what eight eight stands for. Perhaps you're not seeing the new beginning. Okay? Perhaps the tower has happened on Wednesday and you didn't see what has changed. Because you've blindfolded. You have the two of swords. You might have closed your heart off and your solar plex and your mind to new ideas and you're not looking or seeing uh, what uh, is new or what is happening around you. You might be too much in your mind. Get out of your mind and take time out to relax. Go and do something that you like. You are creative. So you can't get the bullseye if you've got a blindfold on so take off the blindfold and look around you not what is in front of you okay now you you might not even see that you are on the right path as the chosen path that you have chosen is right for you okay the angels found uh, the angels would like to reassure you that you have definitely found your chosen path. Congratulations. You are right on track and you've got the royal blue angel feather. And blue is also the color of service. So you have found the right path that you can be of service to other people. From the queen of the moon oracle deck you have number 26 and number 26 becomes an 8 and 8 means power and also the money house you will be in your power and you will be money will be coming to you so you've got an 8 8 
8. So have a look what three eights are. And surrendering doesn't mean giving up. Let go of what you no longer need. Stop being so stubborn about holding on to aspects and behaviors that don't align with who you are now. Stop struggling. You don't have to struggle anymore because your abundance is coming in. You've got the recognition, so you might be getting that new job or a promotion. You will be moving home most likely, or either you will be moving the firm, or you will be moving from one firm to another firm within the company. You will be celebrating. Have faith and trust as big happy times are coming in e and coming towards you. That's the answer of the angels. Wow. I think this is a beautiful reading. Accept the change. Embrace the change. Don't be scared of the change. We all go up and down in our life and friendships and relationships this moon is going to be gorgeous for you it's going to put you in your power so long you surrender go with the flow that is what I'm hearing you've got a lot of moons here you've got the moonlight here and the lightning you've got a moon here uh, you've got the moon there and you've got a new dawn breaking here Wow so know that the path that you've chosen is the right path for you take care stay safe and know that i love you and be blessed